So this morning, Vice President Kamala Harris is kicking off her first foreign trip since being elected to office, and there's currently a lot at stake. Mandy Gaither has the latest. After a bumpy start with a technical issue that forced the vice president's plane to return back to where it started, Are you okay? I'm good, I'm good. Kamala Harris landed in Guatemala's capital in her first foreign trip as vice president, hoping to further solidify the administration's strategy towards migration. She doesn't hold back, which is good. Yes. She's frank. In an interview ahead of their meeting, Guatemala's president blamed the heightened border crossings in part on the Biden administration's vow to reunite families. The very next day, the coyotes were here organizing groups of children to take them to the United States. We asked the United States government to send more of a clear message to prevent more people from leaving. It's a high-stakes trip for Harris against the backdrop of a growing number of migrants arriving at the U.S.-Mexico border. In April alone, U.S. Customs and Border Protection encountered more than 178,000 migrants. Senior staff members say Harris will try to deepen the U.S.'s relationship with Guatemala and Mexico. She's expected to focus on border security, corruption, and advancing economic opportunity. I'm Mandy Gaither reporting.